People wait all year for Starbucks to drop the infamous pumpkin spice latte. Would I be able to order a pumpkin spice latte? This is my first time ever ordering a pumpkin spice latte in my life. And thank you so much. I'll be honest. It's fine. So I've compiled a list of seven of the best coffee shops in Denver to try and find the best fall drinks. And make sure to stick around because I'll be meeting up with a coffee content creator that has never shown his face before. Until now. Our first stop is Little Owl Coffee. The owner is one of my favorite people. Who is this over here? It's my boy Corey Wall right here. Thank you so much for letting me uh, come in and try these drinks. And he let me say the coolest thing I have ever said. I'll have one of everything. Okay, we have the first drink. The yam queen. It's a yam and marshmallow latte. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Dude. Okay. And it's served with a little marshmallow garnish. You know I'm gonna drink those first. There's also the Sopa Chino, which is quite literally made with tortilla chip milk. Corey said it's kind of like cinnamon toast crunch. Look at how fun that is. It comes with a red flag. Okay, how cute is that? And if you think that's cute, that's just one of so many other fun drinks we have left in this video. Our next stop is in the heart of Denver at a cafe called Penelope Coffee Bar, a shop with Asian and Australian influences. Hi, are you mad? Matt is a top ranking latte art competitor who set me up with a bunch of drinks. One of the most unique being the sesame sipper. It's got toasted black sesame all throughout it and it's a cold brew based drink. It actually blew my mind. Dude, yes. I had the best time at Penelope, but for now, we are here at Sonder Coffee and I got a little sneak peek of their fall menu because I saw it on Instagram and the only drink that I saw was baby blue, like the sky or blue jeans, or Uranus. Not yours, the, the planet, silly goose. Where I met up with Julia and Ernest. Julia is actually more obsessed with fun drinks than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you remember the, uh, the blue drink that I was talking about? Julia just made it for me, and look. Oh my gosh, okay, I've gotta pull out my phone so you can see the art on this. Okay, time to try my blue one. Yup. I have absolutely no idea what that tastes like. That is amazing. I can honestly say that these were some of the most unique drinks I've ever had. Like the purple spruce latte. That purple spruce is insane. Holy crap. What are the mints that they hand out at Olive Garden? What are those called? Yes, it reminds me of an Andy's mint. <gasps> We sat and talked about how they approach coffee, fun drinks, owning a cafe, and so much more. This is a new favorite spot in Denver, no doubt. But then we headed to Hearth Coffee, an adorable neighborhood coffee shop to try their homemade squash sauce latte and the Jeff, a coconut caramel sauce drink. This shop has the coziest cafe bakery vibe. And I didn't want to ruin it with my filming, so I decided to go out to the patio, but then there were people working, sitting out there, so. I feel like These drinks were phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Guys, that was incredible. And because they're amazing people, they sent me on my way with a loaf of bread because I'm not done with this mission and I've had nothing but coffee all day. Okay, so I'm standing here in front of Middle State and I've realized there's one big problem with this challenge. I cannot stop going to the bathroom, pee and poo. But you know what? This challenge will not get the best of me. No, if I have to use every single bathroom in every single coffee shop in Denver, I will do it for the sake of finding the best fall drinks in Denver. Okay, let's go into Middle State, where I met Nasha, one of the sweetest people in the whole world, who proceeded to bring me a plethora of amazing fall drinks, like the horchata latte and the anise caraway latte, but nothing could prepare me for the deliciousness that is the Jaywalker. Oh my. A milkshake with chai, espresso, and ice cream. It was a symphony of flavors in my mouth. I would drink this every single day if I could. I mean, it's so good that my friend Jordan said that it made her feel, feel like, like a new woman. Yes. And now we're heading to a shop that I've never actually heard of. Update, uh, we're here. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Jimmy, by the way. Josh. Josh and Steven are the owners of Procession Coffee. We actually sat down for a quick Q&A and I quickly realized that they have the greatest friendship of all time. Who wants to be my friend like <laughs> Josh and Steven? And the fall drinks were so good. I had the rosemary maple latte and the spiced pecan latte. It's essentially a PSL, but nutty. A little bit of salt in there. It's really balanced. I don't know, it's just fun. Future is nutty PSL. Dude, this is the weirdest sentence to come out of my mouth. That is fall in my mouth right now. Fall in my mouth right now. But we can't stop here because there's still one more shop to visit. Okay, we're standing here in front of Huckleberry Roasters 
which is our final shop on the list. I can't believe it. Also, this is where we're gonna be meeting our mystery guest. And by the way, I've never seen his face before either. So yeah, this is like a complete surprise to me too. This is actually the newest shop from Huckleberry Roasters. They've got three others in Denver and they're known for their incredible coffee. Okay, I just got a text from our mystery guest. Who is here? So I'm gonna go outside and meet him. Oh my gosh. What's up? Man? My back is so sweaty right I'm now. I'm not gonna reveal who it is yet. So right now, his face is completely blurred. You have no idea who this is. Okay, I know that you all are dying to know who is here. Who is my special guest that is gonna be testing these coffee drinks at Huckleberry with me? This is the one, the only, my friend, Ryan Tag. Dude, thanks for joining me yeah, for this. Dude, this thank is you like, for having me. Dude. This, this is, is amazing. Awesome. I know. This is like, in my mind, this is like when Tony Stark and Nick Fury, like Nick Fury walked into the room at the end of Iron Man. <laughs> Who the hell are you? That's what we're doing right now. We're like the beginnings of it. And then we're going to have a video in the future yeah. where it's going to be like a bunch of creators all together. And that's going to be our oh adventures. Oh my God. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> I found Ryan's page back in April. And when he told me that he was local to Denver, I just knew we had to meet up. I could tell from his videos that he's one of the friendliest, kindest people. And I wasn't wrong. We had so much fun hanging out, drinking coffee and getting to know each other. You see, this is the best part about specialty coffee. People are what make this industry so special. People that care about not only the craft, but most importantly, creating an experience that gives the absolute best for each and every customer. The best fall drinks definitely aren't from Starbucks. They're from shops like these because they make homemade sauces and unique fun drinks that you might never taste anywhere else. So the next time you find yourself craving a pumpkin spice latte, Google search specialty coffee shop near me and head on over. You might just find yourself saying, fall in my mouth right now.